Hello friends, Pastor Amy here from Southgate United Methodist Church. It is Wednesday, December 6th, and I just got done with uh, story time with the preschoolers here at Southgate. Uh, one of my favorite parts of my job is, is getting to read stories with the kiddos. So of course, that means that my video with you all today is sharing some of the books, um, sharing the books that I share with the kids, as well as a couple that didn't quite make the cut, but I think are worth mentioning. Um, if you're doing some shopping for uh, a uh, either your own kid or somebody else's kids. Um, you know, books are always a great gift. I love, um, I love when my kids get books for gifts. They're a wonderful way to connect with kids too when you read a book together. So um, what I read with the kids today, I read a couple uh, stories again out of this uh, Bible story book, Deep Blue Bible story book. I read a story about Gabriel uh, sharing the message with Mary that um, she's gonna have a baby. So this is a, an image from there. And I love, I love the surprised look on Mary's face. So when we were reading this with the kids, I'm like, show me your best surprise face. And I got some really great faces from the kids all kinds of surprised faces. So that was a lot of fun. So we read the story about um, Mary. And then we also read uh, this story. This is called God Gave Us Christmas. Uh, it's by Lisa Ton Bergren and the art is by David Hone. There's a series of these books. Uh, you can see on the back there's a few more. Uh, we actually received this book as a, um, a baby shower gift. Uh, when uh, our oldest son was on the way. So, um, and I learned that a lot of the kids in the preschool had this one too. So this is a really popular one. But as I read through this, I really liked it because um, it, it responds to a lot of questions that the, the baby cub has about Christmas and what is Christmas about? And uh, she talks about how you can find God everywhere. And I also loved how it talked about uh, the role of Santa in all of this because uh, Christmas is a Christian holiday, but there's, you know, Santa is an inevitable part of our culture. And uh, it talks about Santa in a way that doesn't take away the magic that invites Santa to be a part of it, but, but has Santa in the right role um, in, in the Christmas story as one who reminds us of generosity and care for others. So I thought that was it was really do well done. It's a sweet and gentle story uh, that the kids really seem to enjoy. So I shared that with the preschoolers. There were a couple other books that I really wanted to share, but they weren't quite right for the context of sharing in a group as well as with the, the age levels. But I, I'll share these with you because I found them really good. Um, this book was published in 2008. Amazing Peace uh, by Maya Angelou, who wrote a Christmas poem. And then there's artwork in there by Steve Johnson and Lou Fancher. Uh, in 2005, Maya Angelou wrote and read a poem about Christmas at the lighting of the Christmas tree in, de in December 2005 in Washington, D.C. So she wrote this poem. She read it as they lit the Christmas tree. And a neat thing, if you get this from the library, this version has a CD recording of her reading that. Um, and and it also sets the poem in along beautiful artwork. And this poem is about, um, talks about the context of, of a, the world we live in where, where there's, there's strife, there's uh, danger, there's war, but then talks about how Christmas enters into that and uh, there's a special kind of peace we experience. And she even makes it cross, uh, um, cross-cultural, across various faiths, how the peace of Christmas is here for all of us, not just Christians. And uh, it's a really beautiful poem. The language used is a little more advanced for preschoolers though. But uh, I mean, I would say grown-ups would love this. It's a great one to sit down next to a kid that, uh, you know, that you can share together. Um, but yeah, it's not quite right for the preschool level. Another one is a family favorite of ours, and this one I really, really wanted to share, but then it, it is a bit long. Uh, and also there's there's beautiful artwork and lots of detail that's better to look at like one-on-one. -on -one. So this is The Wild Christmas Reindeer by Jan Brett. Uh, Jan Brett's done a number of books uh, with beautiful artwork, very detailed, and she writes these stories too. So in this one, this is all about Santa and the elves and things like that. This... Um, elf here in the middle, her name is Tika, and she has been given the important task of training the reindeers to be ready to pull the sleigh on Christmas Eve. Um, and she thinks that uh, 
her job requires her to be very tough and gruff and mean and have the loudest voice in the room. And she found, though, that the, the reindeer did not respond very well to that approach to her leadership. So she learned the hard way um, to try something new. And so she instead took time being gentle with them getting to know each of the individual reindeer and their gifts and who they liked working with best. And through that, she, she learns a different leadership skill um, and is able to get the reindeer ready in time. Um, but I just love this book so much because um, because of the illustrations, because of the story itself, an important lesson about leadership and um, just all the detail in the artwork. It's like a, the, the pictures on the side are almost a, an, uh, another storyline going on as, as they're all getting ready for Christmas. So it's, it's not a, an overt Christian uh, book, but I think it, it teaches us an important lesson about peace and gentleness and working with others that I think Jesus would be totally on board with. Um, so that's a good book. It just, I wanted to share this with the preschoolers, but I thought it would be just a bit too long for their attention spans because, um, yeah, there's a lot of words in it, but it's great. So anyway, those are just a few of my favorite kids books around this time of year. Uh, there's nothing better when you have kids of a certain age that will snuggle up next to you and, and, and want you to read them a story. There's a, a, there's a few suggestions for you. If you have any favorites, I'd love to hear about them. Uh, drop a comment or send us a message. I'd, I'd love to hear what some of your favorite books are to share with the kids in your life. So um, this Sunday, we have our cantata. The choir, the choirs have all been working really, really hard. And I know they're excited to share with you the result of all the hard work they've been through. Um, and thanks to all of you that have expressed concern for me. I, I had to miss Sunday because I threw my back out and um, it's, you know, embarrassing. I was picking up a book. Uh, but I am getting much better now and I will definitely be back at church on Sunday and thank you for your prayers and expressions of concern. Uh, just remember folks that God loves you, so do I, and I'll see you Sunday.